Hi doctors, I've been suffering from chronic lower back pain for what seems like forever. I get massages, but the pain always comes back. This is taking a huge toll on my life. Is there anything you can do to help me get rid of this pain? Please help. Well, Beverly went to see chiropractor Dr. Fabrizio Mancini at Parker University in Dallas, Texas. Let's see if he was able to get to the bottom of her back pain. So what we're going to do today is we're going to really evaluate where this pain is coming from because the pain may not be what you think it is. One of our technologies that we use is called Insight Station, which is going to tell us what the autonomic nervous system is doing. And then number two is called the Surface EMG. We're recording the electrical activity of the muscles. This is the latest technologies in custom orthotics in the world. We got to know if the source of the pain is coming in from the way that we're distributing weight in our feet. And she has 50% more weight on her left than her right. So Beverly, what we find in your exam is that you had four segments in your spine that were out of alignment. The first one was your pelvis, the second one was in your low back, and we noticed that in your upper back and in your neck, there's some activity where the muscles are very tight. So Beverly, now we're gonna give you an adjustment. That's what makes chiropractic a very different approach. We look for the cause of the problem, not just the management of the symptoms of the problem. Here you go. Perfect. Yeah, I love that. I'm here with chiropractor Dr. Fabrizio Mancini from Parker University in Dallas, Texas, along with Beverly. Thank you both for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. And so you've been having some treatments. How are you feeling now? Oh my gosh, I feel so great. I travel a lot and on the trip here, I was just like, oh my gosh, I got off the plane and I didn't feel like a pretzel. Which is good. And I think, <laughs> you know, today's show, it's all about the pain may not be what you think. So Dr. Feb, let's talk about uh, what pain often is in your back that may not be what you think. Well, and in her case, it was primarily her travel schedule was putting a lot of undue stress in her spine. But also we found out that she had a couple of accidents that were not addressed properly and corrected and they were just showing up now in, later on in her life. And then we did the chemical evaluation in which is her diet. You know, with the travel schedule that she has, she's not eating properly, she's got too much sugar in her body and that stresses the nervous system and that can also create inflammation that shows up as pain. And then the last one was the emotional component of the stress. And the emotional was that she started a new business, she wants to help a lot of people, she's got a lot of stress in getting this business going, and all of that tension builds up in our spine, mm -hmm. and that causes an underlying cause of why the pain shows up. Well, and it's interesting you bring this up because stress can not only just increase pain in general because of the environment that it creates around you, but stress has a physiologic effect on our muscles. If we're, if we're constantly stressed out, we've all felt this way, right? Where right. it's like, take a deep breath. You take a deep breath and everything relaxes a little bit. But when you're stressed out constantly, it can reflect itself in these areas of pain. Absolutely. And I love that you take a, a multifaceted approach here because again, it, it's all these things combined. And, and you actually brought one of the devices that you used on, on Beverly, yes, is that well, right? Yes, one of the things that I had to share with Beverly is the fact that the pain is not the problem. The problem is the fact that the body communicates uh, through the nervous system and it just lets us know that there is a problem inside, but the pain itself is not the problem. And uh, when we see the animation of the nervous system, we see that the pain travels all through the brain, throughout the whole spinal cord, and it shows through all the impulses that are communicating back and forth from the body to the brain and the brain to the body. But I also know that there's so many individuals, so we're trained to actually find the cause of that problem, which we call subluxations, which are the misalignments in that spine. And then we just correct it. And I know that there's some people that are afraid to go to a chiropractor because sometimes they see that the noise that is produced after an adjustment is a little bit scary. But what I did with Beverly is also I introduced this unit that is called an activator. And it's a very simple unit that has a very little rubber end. And then we just went to the little segments in the, her spine, just like that. And that allowed me to correct the misalignments and the subluxations, and that's what gave her the relief that she now has. Mm -hmm. Because the cause of the pain was not necessarily in her back. Actually, in our exam, we found out that most of her cause was coming from her upper back and her neck and some of the other stresses that we found chemically and emotionally. We are so happy that you're feeling better. Thank you so that's much. That's what's most important here.